Hello and welcome to A Producer's Life in Uganda. Welcome to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and share as much as you want. So right now I'm just getting footage from this GoPro Hero 7 Black and I'm wearing a body strap and this is what we are testing out. The effectiveness of having a body strap on and how it works when you're trying to do something like cooking. Now, the great thing is I can adjust as I go along. So there you go. I want to be able to get those three things in the shot, but I'm not too keen on getting, oh, that's just the reflection of the bottle. So making sure that everything I have is there, I will start chopping away. So while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna be chatting to you really about what's going on at a producer's life in Uganda. So we've got Let's Cook, the TV show that I've created. We've got that on the channel and that's available all six episodes. What I will be doing as well, ooh, sneak peek, sneak peek. This is exclusive information, is um, at some point I will be, in fact, I've already got, you know, a uh, couple of them ready but I will be releasing sort of teasers to season two and it's just it's going to be more because this sh this channel is about behind the scenes right and how to do things and um, those types of things so I'm going to release footage that won't be used in the show but it will just demonstrate either you see, so I've got to like tilt now to make sure I get that in the shot. To make sure that I've got that in the shot, I can either go on my tiptoes. There you go. So yeah, so um, I'll be showing different things that will um, show sort of what it's like on set, the different things that you won't see in the show. Um, and then that hopefully will be interesting viewing. Like for example, when you shoot with your camera, then the, the audio generally isn't s synced. Or if you're using the audio from the camera, it's not very good quality depending on the camera that you're using, right? So you want, want to get like a, a direct sound from your source, from your person speaking. And for me, I use, well, I use a couple of things. Ooh, these onions are strong. Wow. Ooh. These onions are strong and I've got a whole big bag of them. Um, so yes, uh, the, the audio, is, audio is recorded separately. I have two methods for doing that. I've got the wireless mics, the Rode wireless mics, but then I also have the Rode shotgun mic. And so therefore like the releases that I do, majority of them will not be synced. It's just showing you what's behind the scenes, you know? Um, unless if I'm trying to demonstrate audio, which I did in the first one. So the judges were just speaking and, uh, you know, doing their things behind the scenes. And, oh, can't keep my eyes open. And um, I put the footage with just the camera audio, which is not very good. And then the footage with the audio synced so that you can see for yourself if there is a difference. Now I'm just gonna move this up because I've realized that um, I knew already, I tested it, that to be able to get this footage, it needs to be higher. So there we go, we're gonna pour the oil in there. It's a little bit of oil. Get that to move around there, move it around. So I guess the good thing with this is you can, like now I'm moving my body here to, to get the angle rather than moving the, the camera. Then um, that kind of helps you, doesn't it? It is hard trying to monitor the camera and look at what you're doing. So like I could have easily cut myself trying to do both things at the same time. Um, is that too high for this? Maybe I can just tilt it slightly and then keep on, keep it in this position. So at this point in time, I'm not wearing it how it should be, which is sort of below the bosom. I am wearing it above the bosom. It's a bosom. <laughs> above the bosom so that I can maintain this. I 
so that I can maintain this angle. And then if I want to sort of go over the head, there you go, that's a better position. But you see, I'm on my tiptoes slightly because I'm not tall enough for that position. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat down. And I think this is quite convenient. I mean, of course, if you can afford the GoPro. If not, then you, you might be able to find like a DIY hack to get um, the positions that you want. So let's see. Let me get some... Oh, let's get some ginger. And that's the thing as well. If you think that it's always capturing and then it's not, you might do your cut or your whatever without realizing that it hasn't captured it yet. There we go. And the other thing as well is, let's say if your hands are mucky, um, if you're shooting solo, it's is quite diff well, different anyway. Because let's say if your your hands are mucky, you might not have the flexibility to just keep on stopping and starting because I only really need a few seconds of the footage of me, you know, chopping the garlic or chopping the whatever. But I'm having to do this in real time and I know that if my, I, I didn't start with a full battery, but I know that, you know, my battery is going to suffer being on for so long. So you might not be able to, you might have to stop and change the batteries over. But let's see how we get on anyway. Now the thing with the GoPro is it's set so that it goes off, it times off and you can't see the screen. And you have to tap it to be able to get that screen back again. And if you obviously want, if you obviously want that um, ability to see what you're capturing, then you'll need to change that setting. Just be aware that if you do change the settings, you are affecting your battery time. So how much you can capture with one battery is affected by how long you keep the screen on amongst other things like if you're using the pro um what's it called pro tune and things like that so i've just chopped the garlic and ginger and let's put that right in here i'm gonna dump it in there dump it in there there we go just give that a bit of a stir now ideally the pork should be in now trying to get some of those juices so I don't have to use a lot of oil. But, um... So let's see. Now I'm going to do it this way. Now I can't see. If I do it this way, I can't see what is being captured. But it means that I can get the fridge shot. Let's see. I can move it back here. Fridge shot and see what I need. So what do I need here? Uh, I need some tomatoes. But I've got some warm tomatoes, so I'll use those. I might need to... Let's start with this one first. So back to the tilting again. I'm making sure that this doesn't get too stuck. Could manage with that really. So now I'm going to just add some, now I'm going to add some salt. So there, look, I'm going to take the grabbing of the salt because I don't know whether I'm going to use voiceover or this. So now I'm going to get the salt. So I would do a pinch of salt, but because I'm going to sprinkle the salt and there I can see that the salt's been shown in the footage. I'm also going to add pepper to that. And then I'm going to capture that footage of now we need the pepper. <laughs> okay. There we go. ginger, onions, pork in there, and then we're going to put some tomatoes once the pork has, you know, browned. And to save now, I'm going to put this off to save energy. I'm going to, well, let me just capture that a little bit. You can get close, you can do some movements as well. This is just me without my hands, you know, just moving in and giving that feeling of zoom. 
obviously you want to make sure that you don't you know you don't burn yourself with the, with the flame and also just to capture some of that sound as well because the sound on the GoPro is not the best Again, so I'm just going to go up again and do the zooming in while the food is being mixed and I'm just bending my knees slowly that's all I'm doing okay right so I think that's all right working its way there okay so I've just put the tomatoes in you see that's the thing when you that's the thing when you put something off I've just put the tomatoes in as you will see to slice the tomatoes and then I've put in a little bit of tomato puree so I'm just going to let that stir in together as you can see the pork is already seared cooked on the outside Again, I'm doing the movement. There we go. So we're going to leave that there like that. I'm going to put on some rice. We're going to add a little bit of fluid to that. But I'm just going to wait for the tomato puree and the tomatoes and everything to just oh so that's the other thing is the steam if the steam gets onto your GoPro lens then just be aware of that For momentarily the footage there goes getting steamed up so good thing about it it's quite durable I just Give it a wipe. And that should be okay. And then I've got the rice here. I've got the rice here. And I'm going to wash the rice. I always wash my to the pan. And then I'll just let that meat cook. Let that meat cook there. We'll cover that now. I'm going to do my zoom in shot there. Those nuts roast up really quick. So I'm putting this rice into there. Move back, please, move back, please. So my shaking there is moving the GoPro, so I'm a bit conscious of that. As you'll see with the rice, the start is being released. You can see the white milkiness coming out. Right here. I like this. I like this pan for the 
see what we can see on there. Like this pan for rice and that location, that, that hob. So I let that boil and then simmer. Okay, let's see how this is getting on. Not a lot. And the rice. And if you want, you can mix it around just to get that even spread. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.